And we are on the wrong screen and live! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Welcome to the Midweek Saints Ethnostatic Snowmageddon special. It's not really special, but it's basically still your casual Friday on a Thursday. I'm Wizard of Cause, also known as Discount Jared Leto today. I'm um, joined here by uh, Dime Store Jonathan Davis, Jeff Holiday as usual. He's got nothing to do on a Thursday, so here we are. How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing pretty fantastic. I don't know, like, some people are going to have to figure out what they're going to be making fun of me for. Because I don't really look like Jonathan Davis anymore. Like, maybe a little bit in the face, but the hair is totally different now. Totally, totally different. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I gotta find something something else. Something there you go. Now, uh, if uh, I'm really noticing real quick, uh, Medi, you're this as I look drunk already. I'm nowhere near drunk yet. Um, but it is, uh, it's a nor'easter coming down. I got my bathrobe and my, my wife beater and my shitty chest hair going on. Um, got, my, got my big mop tied up out of my face I'm, I'm clearly like if i had bunny slippers you could bet that i'm wearing them instead they're just these sort of cloth bags i got at kmart and we still have a kmart up here wow, anyone's that's one weird yeah Jeez, i know what kind of fucking so, third world country do you live in that you still have a kmart they have these kind of fucking slippers which don't even really fit so that's it, it's still kmart everyone can like hold on to that and realize that their youth is not entirely gone kmart still exists and still sells terrible products hey, fuck but it. um yeah, but no, it's uh, it's a nice Thursday snowmageddon today, waking up, realizing that I left my card at the bar last night, so I actually had to troop about mm, half to three quarters of a mile down the road through an, a lovely blizzard, which not only was snow blowing in with the normal wind, but all the snow off the snowbanks. It was great. Whiteout conditions, plow trucks trying to hit me. <laughs> For fun. So I came back, yes, I came back, and it's, uh, it's going to be all sweatpants and uh, bathrobes until... Um, you know, until society digs, until society is dug out of this mess. Fair, that's fair. Mm. I got my furry coat rocking. I'm, uh, I got my baby, my baby pickle swag right there, rocking some some biro love. Um, mm. I love that guy. I, 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 I think he's been on hiatus. We need to like reach out to him. And, and by the way, everybody, go ahead and get you know, keep your eyes out for your uh, your brand name, uh, YouTube Saints White Trash Snowmageddon merchandise coming. It's got a used <laughs> bathrobe, maybe a few stained. Uh, you know, I mean, fuck it. What is it? Uh, Rebzion sells his underwear, right? Yeah, I think it's underwear and his socks. Yeah, I will sell. I mean, and you guys in the chat, let me know if you really want me to do this. But I'm more than happy to collect, create, produce, and sell um, sloppy wine and chili stained wife beaters um, under my own brand. I'll oh, yeah. do that. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, so somebody was asking about Byro. No, it's B Y R O, uh, and he runs Galactic Bubble Productions. Friend of the show. We fucking love that dude. He's absolutely amazing. Tickle Trunk uh, is saying in the chat there he's considering ending his channel. Byro said he might be ending his channel? What? Is this like a layman, like, I'm gonna go kill myself thing? Like, that, that is the most autistic thing I think I've ever heard, my dude. So I'm going to go and kill myself now? No it's way, no. Things. Pyro is so fucking good, man. He's he's perpetually undersubbed. We should just fucking get... We should just get Byro on. We should. We totally should. Byro's fucking amazing. 
Actually, oh, wonder. he hasn't been on yet? I don't think he's actually been on as a guest guest. We just keep featuring, like, all of his work and shit. I could have sworn we've had him on as a real guest. I mean, you can't, even rem you can't even remember if we've had a woman on the show or not. We haven't had a woman on the show. Nope. One, one of these days, though, Jeff. Oh, okay, so Byro has been on, but he needs to be on again. I would agree. I would agree. Ah, uh, yeah, there we Byro go. Byro yeah. amazing, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, honestly, YouTube will be a darker place if he shuts his channel down. <clears throat> agreed, agreed. The man is but... just absolutely incredible. Uh, so, starting off really quick, here we've got... Uh, Jeff, we're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from other, any other guy. Thank you for the bits, buddy. I... Fuck, I don't... Do I have to sing the whole thing? I mean, he typed the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling Gotta make you understand Never gonna give you up Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around and desert you Never gonna make you cry Never gonna say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie And hurt you Alright, there you uh, go I need, um, I w you know, I was wearing it earlier But I mean, now I've got the cancer again, so I'm just gonna yep. put my cancer beanie there on. There you go. Put your Philadelphia hat back on. There we go. That's that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Sucro Sensiani, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, we got Mr. Tickle Truck resubscribed for th er, for two months at tier three. Here's to the long road. Here's to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Sestra, subscribe. Thank you, Sestra. We love you, darling. Ray Day the Blunt, resubscribe for two months now so far. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to you. Cheers, everybody. I hope everybody's feeling good. Like Thursday is is an is an odd day. Like it's the first Thursday of the new year. It is the first Thursday of the new year. That's true. All new, all different. Everything has changed. Actually, no. Everything no. is exactly the same as last week. Yes, I know. All of that optimism, and for what? Just to keep myself alive through 2017. That's right. That's Sitting right. there, yeah, like, I mean, the hot water did come back for anybody who's curious, though, but I will say that I did get that genuine lesson in, um, you know, in, in, in uh, you know, that Siddhartha middle way lesson where you're just starving and, and really dirty and you don't have any hot water and it's miserable out and you have nothing to do except sit and contemplate your circumstances, which is exactly what Keanu Reeves did in that movie. That's when true. When he was Buddha. See? That, yeah. That's, that's very true. <laughs> but that, that was, somebody says that you was, look like rehab Kurt Cobain. <laughs> he had a better beard. <laughs> uh, uh, brunette. But, yeah. You know, rehab. Wait a second. Hang on. Rehab Kurt Cobain. That never happened! It's not even funny. It's just now, like, what are you? Are you just trying to make fun of Frances Bean? You're hoping she's watching. You're know, like, yeah, you know, who knows what could have happened if things had gone different, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You all, you, you always, you always twenty five dollars super chat for that. That was cruel to poor Frances Bean. Yeah, that's true. I'm so gonna Chris... go give that to some homeless junkie down the street so he can get his next fix without having to suck a shotgun off in the hopes that it has twenty bucks to spare. True, Sucro Sensiani with a big. 5,000 bits. Uh, everyone subscribe to Prince of Dew and Anna Hot of Hearts. You can also kindly sub to these scrubs. Uh, pinkies up. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Anna Hot of Hearts is drastically undersubbed. Um, in, in the whole... And yes, guys, I am recording. I see everybody asking, am I recording? I'm recording. I am, I promise. Um, I was worried about that. In, in the current, uh, the current sphere of, of commentary that, you know, we've existed in for a while. I've trimmed back my watch list quite a lot. Quite a fucking lot. Um, but Anna Hot of Hearts has become kind of my refuge for, like, based intellectual commentary. And, and I, I fucking love it. I think she's great. Yeah, she's absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah. Prince of Dew is just hot. Yeah, Prince of Dew is probably the cutest thing on YouTube. And Vimeo and Twitter combined. Um, so definitely go and subscribe to Prince of Dew. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this much for Anna out of hearts, though. I mean, that, that girl's got, like, she, she does, she does the thinking work for you. She got the gray, she's got the gray <laughs> stuff. She's got the gray <laughs> stuff. Yeah. She's smart. No, See, she's no, smart. No, yeah, knows how to, no, and knows how to, knows how to keep that, that, that steady sort of NPR monotone going. So that you keep taking everything seriously, and then you realize, wow, I just got through an entire video without anybody mentioning Daddy of Five once. Oh, fuck me, Dad. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm old. Uh, I meant Jake, Jake Paul or whatever. Right. Nitz 47, Kurt Cobain was in rehab in 1992. It didn't work. So I guess he did actually try and do rehab. Did so, he have one of these hats? Um, did he get one of these hats? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, it's funny because I got this literally in a cancer ward um, when I was taking care of my dad. He had leukemia. And I uh, go in, there's this basket of hand-knit hats made by these little old ladies who just make hats for cancer people and anybody who wants one. So I said, yeah, I like this hat. I'll take this. Now, looking at it here in the camera, I realized in the 1990s, like, I would have been looked at and people would have assumed I had, like, a gold record out. These days, <laughs> uh, these days, these days, people just assume that I can't, like, tolerate gluten. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Totally. I could see it. Uh, I just realized that, like, we didn't even do a promo video for this or anything, uh, or tweet it uh, on Twitter. We should probably do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm. I'm sure that's <laughs> why. The, I'm. I'm sure that's why the viewer numbers are so damn low. <laughs> it's just not that. It's not just that the hardcore know where the decent entertainment is. Because I mean, honestly, Jeff. I mean, how would you enforce a white ethno state? What would you do? How would you enforce that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought exactly. Oh, now. fuck me, dead. Yeah. No, I. I'm. Yeah. I. I tried. I tried really hard not to. Not to focus, and uh, and and watch that that stream. But honestly, when I did, I have to say, uh, Sticks Hexen Hammer six 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 is a smart fucking dude. A really yeah. smart guy. Have I you out that before. I well, I never really watched this. Like I'd tune in a couple to a couple of his videos, and I'm like, oh, he sounds interesting and whatnot. But he looks like a bunch of guys that I used to go to pyro festivals with, and it just it's it just like was jarring well, for me. It's, it's not a, hard because it's not when a I diss tune, on him at all. When not, I when I tune into sticks, like you know, I'll listen to him for about five minutes, and then I'll, I notice like I'm just waiting for that razor fist thing to happen, but it doesn't because it's not razor fist. Right. Everyone needs to remember sticks hex and hammer. Is not Razor Fist. Right, right. Very two different separate people. people. Two separate people. Very different people. Yeah. But yeah, that that was just like something. It wasn't. It's not a diss or anything on him at all. It's just he reminded me so much of people I used to go camping with, and so I just I for some reason I was just like ah, I don't know if I can get into it. But after this debate, I'm gonna have to actually check his channel out more often. He's an interesting I'd like dude. I'd like to say that, but I'm noticing I watch less and less YouTube myself. And when I say less and less YouTube, like, I go to my subscription feed these days, and I'm like, how many Logan Paul videos do I feel like watching today? Right. Oh, yeah. I wonder what'll happen tomorrow, and if I'll get two and a half dozen hot takes of the same variety on that issue that I didn't care about to begin with. Right. That's true. This, That's fair. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe it's maybe it's my own evolution. Like, you know, yeah, last year is like YouTube is the universe. Let's like what's everyone got to say? But like anybody else, you hear the same voice enough times. Mm. And eventually, unless they're fucking weird, and that's those are the people I still love. You kind of get to you know what's going to be said, so like you read about the t you read enough tweets about an issue that's going on. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to go to my subscription feed. I know what they're going to say. I know what they're going to say. I wonder, if, I, wonder, I wonder if there's an co internet comment video out I can watch. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, that's that, That's pretty much what, I, what my YouTube experience has been lately. It's been very frustrating. Larry Kubiak, subscribe. Thank you very much. Wild Fett, Midweek Saints Coffee, Vanilla Tobacco, and my Corn Cob Pipe. The perfect way to celebrate. Going to Denver next week for orientation for a new job. Finally, it's a good new, good new year so far. Good for you, buddy. Hey. Appreciate I, you. I told you to be optimistic. Well, let's let's move into the let's move into the news because we got some fucking fun ass shit in the news today. Um, it, some of this is just fucking wild. So I'll I'll start us off. Uh, our first one is ridiculous. I actually found this on Count Dankula's stream. Um, by the way, Dankula tomorrow in Europe goes in for his trials. He did a he did a pre trial Scotland. stream. Scotland, Scotland. yeah. Um, and he was talking about a Japanese TV show featuring blackface actor Sparks Anger 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 Holy Angel. Holy Dick, dude! I can fucking read. Jesus fucking Christ! Very well. Uh, a Japanese TV program has sparked accusations of racism and cultural ins insensitivity after a comedian painted his face to impersonate Eddie Murphy. The New Year's Eve show featured celebrity comic Hamada appearing in a Beverly Hills cop skit with his face blacked up. 
Using makeup to lampoon black people, a practice known as blackface, is seen by many to be deeply offensive. Protests over the show have grown over the past few days. US-born writer and columnist Bay McNeil, who is black and has lived in Japan for 13 years, drew attention to the show on Twitter, arguing that black people were not a punchline nor a prop. Need a black actor? Get a black actor that speaks Japanese. Now, these are these are great. Where do you find images? one? Wait, a, a black actor that speaks Japanese? I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. But that's that's pretty fucking amazing, honestly. Uh well, I'm just wondering, I mean, you know, so, like, Japanese guy gets in blackface to impersonate Eddie Murphy, but he doesn't eat a steak dinner off of Scarlett Johansson's back to bring right. it full circle? Right, right. Really? That would I, have been perfect. My whole, okay, so, I do, I have a problem with this whole news story, and my, my problem that I have with this news story is, can be summed up really simply. Every single time I've heard of a Japanese person getting blacked, it was in a porno, and it had was way different than this way way different so you thought this was a different story when you saw the headline didn't you i really did i was like they did that on a fucking sitcom that sounds wrong uh maybe they have different fcc guidelines in japan than we have here i don't know all right somebody in the chat right now i want you to write the words kids exchange as one word in the chat and see how many people read the wrong way into it Right. Because I think we'll all get an experience as to what Jeff got here today. That's pretty much exactly right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You've seen that sign. Everyone's seen that sign. Everyone knows oh, that uh, yeah, yeah. Sign. yeah. Um, yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see? No, yeah, oh, now they're just, they're just doing it for fun. Squiggums is probably going to do it like ten times. <laughs> That's a great word. Um <laughs> uh, he said he loved Japan and wanted to draw people's attention to how the practice of blackface is widely regarded as racist. He tweeted that his nightmare scenario was that during the opening ceremony of the 2020 OP Tokyo Olympics, Japan naively sends a blackface doo-wop group out to pay homage to black athletes. <laughs> what a fiasco that'll be, so I implore you, please stop hashtag, or please hashtag stop blackface Japan now. But there's a debate on Twitter over whether or not Japanese audiences are aware of the racist history of minstrel shows in the U.S. and Europe, and whether it remains racist if performers and audiences are unaware of that history. I don't think that they care. You know, I honestly sometimes wonder to myself if American and European um, cultures are aware of how offensive it is to wave at an Arab with your left hand. Right. No, do you know that? Are you? Oh, you're left-handed? You were just born that way? Fucking kafir. You must be, you know, sacrificed to Allah or some shit. Um, you know, honestly, as we see, you know, as, as we see simpering fuckwits uh, sitting in front of a, over 10,000 people trying to argue the virtues of a white ethno state being created in America, yeah? I think, like, the very fact that we almost kind of have to look a little bit harder now for this kind of shit than we used to, this, you know... Shrieking violets being offended about the fact that a black man or that a, that a Japanese man did blackface uh, Something like that like where they're having to try so hard and, and and simpering fuckwits on the other side are just rising up I think we're about to reach peak stupidity. Yeah, we're I'm, close. I'm we are fucking crossing close. my fucking fingers I'm dressed like this because fuck it the world seems like it's gonna end soon anyway Might as well be comfortable. Stop the ass kissing. Mm -hmm. That being the case uh, <laughs> I want to see. I, I hope. We, I hope we see. I hope we see a reboot of Power Rangers where they have no helmets and they're all in blackface. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's my thing, and I, I've I've thought about this a long time. So you remember this kid? You remember the the kid who who wore blackface because he for a school project he was supposed to dress as his uh, as his hero, and his hero was Martin Luther King Jr. And so this kid and his very naive mom. Uh, did him up in blackface and whatnot, and he went and did his school report. And the nation collectively shit the fucking bed. Now, here's the problem. The problem is, is that when you come upon something like this, there is automatically going to be people who are going to be offended. You're going to be offended, and that's your right. It's your right to be fucking offended. But at the same time, like, this kid, through no fault of his own, was simply trying to express himself in something that he saw as a, a a a an expression of his admiration for his fucking hero so you get to this question of 
what's really the core of this problem is the core of this problem that people get offended or the core of this problem that we don't care what people's intentions are we just are so desperate to be pissed off about something or is it that i'm a naive white person no, 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 that, you, that just no, doesn't you, understand <laughs> no, you, no, you, you dude you hit the nail on the head here because like there was a time once where like i wanted to i wanted to go you know trick-or-treating for halloween um dressed as one of my most admired historical figures and like i don't know what the fuck kind of world it is where you get freaked out when a 28 year old white man shows up on your doorstep at 10 p.m at night dressed as shaka zulu so if that's like gonna freak you out i'm sorry maybe we just shouldn't live in the same place anymore i yeah no, i feel you sure. man i feel you because here's the thing too this this right here this did not bother me. The movie White Chicks did not fucking bother me. I did not feel like my fucking culture, because my culture is not white. My, I didn't feel. You know, I, let's let's consider uh, what's what's the. Then most again, I'm not a Becky. Famous, what's Maybe? the most famous modern version of blackface we actually have, aside from like the big hit news stories? It's Gene Wilder, right? Right, 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 right. When yeah. Gene Wilder did blackface, right in that famous scene. What was that like? In what, what was that more insulting to black people, or the idea of what white people supposedly think black people are like? What did he? What what was Gene Wilder? What is any white guy in blackface doing some kind of jigaboo shit? Right? What is that really actually more a statement about black people, or the way certain stupid white people view black people? In mm. which case. Who is actually the target of mockery there? I uh, checkmate. White ethno nationalists. Mm -hmm. I guess, and and Black Lives Matter, <laughs> and half of the NFL and and half of pro football players now checkmate all of you. Right. I play I play fifty two dimensional chess. Right. I I mean I respect anybody who's who's very very upset. Uh, about the fact that this was deeply troubling, that there was uh, a Japanese person in blackface, but I have to, I have to be as based as I can with you. The Japanese don't care. They don't care. They're probably not going to care. They just Moreover, don't. you know, let, let's let's actually strike a compromise right here and now with the perpetually offended and those of us who don't give a fuck. Right? We're gonna strike a compromise here. They always want apologies. We don't ever want to give them. Let's just settle for saying, "I'm sorry you feel that way." Right? Sure. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Mr. Tickle Trunk says the Japanese comedian really shouldn't have done the whole blackface thing because of the sensitivity about the history of black slaves in. Oh, wait, that never happened. How was this an article a thing people are retarded? They're in Japan. It, he's got a point. There, yeah. there were not black slaves in Japan. I'm pretty, a sure, point. I'm pretty sure the Japanese, I'm pretty sure, especially back in those days, the Japanese, if they, you know, any kind of slaves they'd have, if they weren't Japanese, then they wouldn't want them in there. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's like you, I, you brought a Cambodian here. The last thing I will say is, uh, you probably shouldn't wear blackface because you're gonna get a whole lot of shit for it, and it's probably not worth it. Probably and it's gonna not. clog, it's gonna clog your pores up and shit. Oh yeah. And then you're gonna break out because you're still white underneath it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Probably not a good idea. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like if you want to make fun of black people, just uh, uh, you know, I guess just go to certain subreddits and hope no one ever calls you out. Yep, pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Alright, so next up, we have uh, me being ashamed of my state. <laughs> uh, here uh, we go. Oregon's now allowed to pump their own gas. Oh, hey, fucky ducky. I'm gonna read this one because I want, I, I want y'all just to watch Jeff cringe <clears throat> as a New Englander chuckles about what his state's like uh for decades oregonians have always had someone else pump their gas check your fucking privilege jeff <laughs> but a new law that was signed late last year by governor kate brown took effect monday and it requires people to self-serve at pumps business insider reported it required uh, you know what this is like uh, i'm gonna guess the uh the libertarians of oregon are probably up in arms right now but the fact that the government is forcing them to pump their own gas <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably. the law more the law is more specifically no longer requires a gas attendant in cities with less than forty thousand people 
And, and Oregonians are freaking out. Uh, here are a few of the responses. No, disabled seniors, people with young children in the car need help. Not to mention getting out of your car with transients all around and not feeling safe, too. This is a very bad idea. Grr, one woman wrote on Facebook. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wasn't it, was it last week? I think you were like, yeah, you just need to move out here to the West Coast. Check out. No, fuck. Fuck Oregon. It's like the worst parts of Vermont and New Jersey combined. If okay. this is the reason uh, why you wouldn't one. move to there's, Oregon, okay, all right. There's all right. more, more. <laughs> Not a good idea. There are lots of reason to have an attendant helping. One is they need a job, too. <laughs> Many people are not capable of knowing how to pump gas and the hazards of not doing it correctly. Besides, I don't want to go to work smelling a gas when I get it on my hands and clothes. I agree. Very bad idea. God fucking <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, others found it sort of odd that there are parts of the U.S. where you don't pump your own gas. If you read the comments on here, you'd think that 48 other states are total anarchies run by neglectful parents and people who hate the elderly. You, <laughs> Your kid can sit in the car for three minutes it takes you to pump gas. It's not about safety. You're just lazy. Uh, what yeah. anarchy-riddled sort of state is it, Oregon? That people are afraid of the gas station transients. <laughs> is, is that a problem over in the West? Roving bands of gas station marauders? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Like, oh. never, but for the most part, commentary pokes fun at the changing law. I'll never forget the first time I had to pump my own gas. I had to fight off a bear that was standing in front of the pump. Then I endured a hail of bullets from enemy sniper fire while trying to swipe my card. When I pulled the pump handle from the docking station, it set off a series of booby traps, and the next thing I knew, I was in my own version of Tomb Raider. Once I was done, a group of transients chased me in a tactical helicopter for miles because they wanted to my tank of gas for making Nazi myth. You Oregonians had, you Oregonians had it so easy. By the way, uh, Eric, if you were uh, checking out this story, nice comment. If not, I think we've got one of your students. Now, New Jersey is now the only state that bans self-service gas stations. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't even know how to defend this. I really can't. I don't think I can. Um, okay. Well, there's a lot of dumb people in every state. And, and obviously, there's going to be people who, people who are going to be freaking out about this. I am happy. And I hope that they extend this so that uh, even, even like the major cities and whatnot, you can pump your own gas. Because I've been all over this fucking country. And I have never seen car pileups of just, uh, just a fucking shit show. Uh, at the gas pump as much as I have in Oregon. It takes fucking forever. You'll have fucking 24 goddamn pumps and two dudes working trying to run between all the fucking cars. I've been that guy. I've worked at gas stations in Oregon. It's fucking awful. It fucking sucks. Yeah, it's but would terrible. you really want some robot a la someone's own legs and arms taking your job away from you? Well, I don't have that job anymore. I mean, shit, dude. Somebody does. You got to think about the little guy, dude. You can't just spend all day thinking about how much Mira Sorvino is making, all right? You know, now that I think about it, with, with some of the, the hysterics that uh, that people have been lambasting my comment section with these days, maybe I should be more upset about this because <laughs> it might be taking more jerp. <laughs> 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 but I mean, uh, I shouldn't laugh at that. No, I know, because that could be your job. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, 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 I think it's completely not mine silly because too. here in New Hampshire we don't have gas station attendants because we're not a bunch of pussies. I just love that shit. Like, no, my God. Um, hold on a sec. Oh my God, I can't pump my own gas. I've lived here my entire. I have children in the car, disabled elderly children in the car. I can't pump my own gas. So oh. um, the last the last time I went up to Seattle uh, to go hang out with Ben and Billy uh, and all and all them kids, um, I I had to go and get some gas and I pull up to the gas station and when you live in Oregon you're so used to it like you they they will yell at you if you go to pump your own gas like they fucking straight yell at you and because they'll get in trouble they'll actually get in, in super serious fucking trouble if they don't stop you from pumping your own gas. So you get used to it and you're like, okay, I can't I can't touch the fucking pump. I'm not allowed to go anywhere near it. 
and I'm at the this gas station, and I'm sitting there, and it's frigid fucking cold. I'm like, God damn it, when the fuck is this dude gonna show up? Ah, uh, I might as well turn the car back on and like warm myself up and everything. And it took me like eight minutes to realize, oh yeah, I'm in fucking Washington. The rest of the country <laughs> isn't as fucking insane as Oregon is. God fucking damn it. So, yeah, no, I feel um, you. I, I was. Yeah, I was just really quick. I was just inviting Count Dankula on, and he said he would be, he would love to. However, he's sorting some stuff out, and he's going to bed because he's got a. Oh yeah. Oh whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, it's two a.m. where he is. He's got to be up at eight to go in and uh, be uh, exonerated of these charges. Which, by the That's way, right. That's uh, right. To the Scottish government, who uh, I'm, you know, the the King of Scotland and the Scottish Parliament. Because we know uh, you're, we know or, you're watching. We yeah, we know you. We know you guys are all watching. I'm. I'm really up on UK politics. I want you to know. Uh, I raised a lot of money for this man. Right, a lot of money, and um, you know, just, just, just don't, don't, don't fuck me on this one, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Don't fuck me. That's right. That's damn right. Yeah. No, I was watching. I was watching a bunch of his stream. It was great. I, I, I tipped him some money for a beer. Much love. Much love to, to Marcus. To, to. He'll be Bank fine. Around. He'll be fine. I hope so, dude. I fucking love that man so much. He's so fucking based. I, I, uh, man. The sad, no, the sad thing is the senior, and he knows this too. The only thing funnier than him getting through this case, getting exonerated, and writing a book and making a living on it, is if they actually convict him. And because... then coming out and writing a book and making. <laughs> no, he will. <laughs> he, no, they, they, they will drag his ass into prison. And he will probably laugh just as hard the entire way to his cell as he did as they were dragging him out the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They all, they're also not going to put him in for a full year. Fuck off. He, he, I, think, I, think, I thought it was really funny because on his stream he was like, yeah, you know, I, I, so people want me to, to try and show my balls right before I go into the slammer, but I, I don't want to strike on my favorite form of income because it's not like even if I get off from this, I can ever have a regular job again. <laughs> oh, yeah, job again. Yeah. yeah. No, I just you, you just send me that shit and I'll read it. I feel like he needed to get my tattoo, the internet infamous tattoo. I think it would have gone way better on him than me. Well, I'm shut up, sleeper. I don't care if my Scottish accent is bad. I can't do accents, dude. My accents I was just are trying. To, no, I was just trying to tell you your Scottish accent's fucking shit, man. I was just trying to say that. Like, you just send me what you want him to say, and like DMs, I'll take care of it then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair. See, like, yeah. From now on, you don't try to do accents anymore. God they damn it! Want... Now everybody's on my fucking ass about it. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you guys. Kiss my ass. God damn it. You should, try and, you should hear me try and do an Australian accent. It's fucking awful. I can't do it. One time, fucking no. One time, Dankula's like, he's like, that's not a bad accent. Where'd you learn that? And I'm like, I learned it from watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Um. All right. So that's it for that news story. Uh, you chose this next one. So let's uh let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, this one's good. This is fun. Yeah, Animaniacs revived at Hulu with two season order. No, stop. Don't, no, no accent. No accent. Yeah. 1990s cartoon staple Animaniacs is going to get to season revival courtesy of Steven Spielberg's Amblin Television and Warner Brothers Animation. The revival was picked up straight to series for Hulu. So, at long fucking last, Hulu's original programming will be worth watching. Uh, it also includes an agreement. It's like fucking crackle, man. It's like, uh, I want to watch I want to watch a remake of Da Vinci's fucking Inquest because I can't get enough of that hot Montreal detective action, you know? Please and thank it's, yous. It, it's, um, fair. it's fair. The, the deal also includes an agreement for Hulu to exclusively stream the entire Animaniacs back catalog. So for all of the rest of you who are on YouTube with us who never managed to actually grow up into adults, uh, you can relive that shit that you never got over, over on Hulu. That's what Hulu is for. Now, uh, as well as various other spin-off, including Pinky and the Brain, Elmira and the Brain. I don't remember that one. I don't remember and, that either. And the related Tiny Toons Adventure series. You can watch fucking Tiny Toons if you were into that. Okay. If you were when you were little. We cannot wait to work with Steven Spielberg and the entire Amblin and Warner Brothers teams to bring more sketches, catchphrases, songs, and laughs and from the Animaniacs to kids and adults everywhere, said Craig Erwick, SVP of Content Hulu, in a statement. 
Now, one of the most beloved, inventive, and funny animated franchises in history, Animaniacs, and its cast of witty characters can live on Hulu. Oh, it kind of sounds like you've taken like my childhood and trapped it in this purgatory and then put it on display for people who are on their way from uh, Chicago to L.A. and need a place to stop for a burger. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't keep fucking saying this, but yeah, uh, yeah. So, Animaniacs, which is widely, as far as I'm regard, as far as I'm aware, regarded as one of the best kids' cartoons that we grew up with from our childhood that we couldn't get over. Um, I got it's coming over back it. on Hulu. Hey. I enjoyed it. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I found Animaniacs is one of those things. Like some people can watch it and be like, "Fuck yeah, I remember before life was complicated and sad." Other people are like, "This was." I remember this being better. Okay, so you know what you know what drove me crazy when I when I went into like a nostalgia kick a few years back. Um, I I went back to look at some of the the old cartoons that I used to love, and the first one that I went to go look at was Thundercats, and uh, so so I, I load up uh, I download and I load up uh, an episode of Thundercats and I start watching the intro to it. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. Wow, man, this looks amazing. Holy fucking dog dick. What the shit? How did I forget that this animation was so incredible for the intro? And then the episode started, and I was like, wow, what the fuck happened? What the oh, shit? By the way, in a moment, we may have an intruder kicking down our door. Oh, yeah? Sweet. Sounds good to me. Yeah, just 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 one giant Asian wang flopping in through the double doors of <laughs> the YouTube Saints. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm always all about that Asian wang, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, he's just he's just got to get decent, which means he's just got to you know trim around the base to make it look bigger, and uh, he'll be in here shortly. It's fair. I did that earlier <laughs> today. Um, so, but yeah, th th that was the thing though. Is is like I I went back and I looked at all these things too. Like you had your your Thundercats, you had your Starhawks, you had your uh, even G.I. Joe and shit like that, the intros were amazing. The animation was incredible. The music was very catchy, and then the actual episode would start, and you're like, what the fuck happened? You know what? I this remember like that. It's animated by a fucking retarded chipmunk. Like, what the shit? You know, you know what defied that, though? And it, and it didn't defy that and fucking shit up, but it defied it in terms of, like, you get this one, like, really arty intro, and then you get this different animation style was Batman. Oh yeah, yeah, Batman, yeah, yeah. Batman the animated series, even though it was geared towards kids and shit for the most part, ostensibly, that was that really was like that that one holds up, for instance. You can watch episodes of that and you're like, shit, this was a good cartoon. This is like this was like cheap American anime basically. Wait, somebody was like, Jeff, it was Silverhawks, man. I'm like, didn't I say Silverhawks? What did I say? What the fuck did I say? No. Um. Oh, yeah, Mark Hamill was the best Joker, though. Mark Hamill in the in the Batman series was well, fucking I mean, incredible. You, well, it was funny. I watched, I remember it was like a year or two ago, I, I downloaded and watched The Killing Joke, especially after all the controversy about the film, mm -hmm. right, in the comic. Well, I watched The Killing Joke, and I was like, it's the same animation style, the same voices, same everything, and I'm like, yeah, this is qual this is a quality fucking cartoon. I'm like, I'm in my 30s now, and I'm still watching this like, yeah, this is good. Yeah. And I, and I remember the old episodes. I remember one of my favorite episodes of that old Batman cartoon was uh, it's it's a card game between a whole bunch of the villains all telling the story of how much they almost got the Batman. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you remember that one? And it's I like do. Batman's dressed as the croc the whole time. But that entire thing, it was just like this noir like crime series. It would be perfectly like, you know, yeah, there's no blood, there's no cursing, there's no death. Fine. Right. But it's still, it was like a quality fucking episode, and I'm like, shit, I remember that 20, 25 years later now? Seriously? All right. Yeah, they're saying uh, Thundercats, well, no, Thundercats and Silverhawks were a different show, but I think I said them both. They both oh, yeah. had the thing where they had, like, really good intros, and then the animation in the episode was fucking awful. Uh, both of them. I had, all, like, all the toys for all of them, too. Cause... Yeah, well, I mean, what was it, uh, Silverhawks? 
Silver that Hawks, was, yeah, Silver yeah, Hawks. Well, I mean that 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 came after Thundercats, right? That was like the uh, the hey, can we hit? Can we strike gold twice? Kind of yes. thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thunder Thundercats were first. Uh, like my my <coughs> I cut my teeth when I was very young on like He Man, and then uh, you had your GI Joe and your Transformers, then you had your Thundercats, your Silver Hawks, and then your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then I kind of grew out of it. I was a little grown out of it even by the time like Animaniacs happened. A little bit. A little bit. Not by much though. I still watched it. Animaniacs. That was like it was on long enough after school. I remember to to seem like that it warranted worth watching. You know? Yeah. And yeah. it was, but it was fun. And um, you know, from there, Pinky and the Brain happened. And I mean, moreover than whether or not you enjoyed it, the fact that it became so iconic. It almost actually makes me wonder and worry, like, will we... I mean, are we going to get a woke Animaniacs out of this? I don't this? know. I don't know. Are we, yeah, I mean, are we going to get, are we going to get, like, a... Are we going to get an Animaniacs that's, like, strictly run by Steven Spielberg because he has the time? <laughs> socially conscious we, Animaniacs. No, yeah. not even, no, not even socially conscious. Basically, he'll just be, like, talking a whole bunch of shit about, like, you know, there'll just be constant jokes about how uh, uh, Indiana Jones and Star Wars could have been handled better. <laughs> 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 uh, is, uh, I, I'm, right. I'm watching the, the chat. All right, yeah, you watch the chat. I'm actually gonna drag. I'm gonna drag a wang in here real quick. Okay, let's drag drag your wang against my forehead. But I'm watching everybody uh, in the chat going like all member berries and everything. Member real Ghostbusters? Oh, I remember that. Member Digimon? I remember that. Yes. <laughs> I remember him too, man. And I feel you. Like I'm not. I'm not bashing you guys. I'm not. Not at all. I I I'm I'm member too. I'm member too. But like. I did, has anybody noticed? Maybe it's because we're old and bitter at this point. Maybe that's why. But it just doesn't feel like we have as many successful t car kids' cartoon shows specifically made to try and profit off of toys like we used to. Because those are good. Those are fucking we dope. We need shit. more toys. They need to be smart toys. You need to be able to connect them to your goddamn oh, what's smartphone. Oh, uh, what's hey, up? Justin. We're just discussing. We're just discussing how um, there aren't enough movies and television series made for children that are built around toy lines anymore. You know, they just are don't there? do it like they used to. I'm not sure. I, I mean, mean honestly, I don't know. I, I haven't. Watched I haven't. Any I haven't. Kids I have, cartoons, but I haven't seen the Last Jedi. But as far as I'm aware, there's not a single thing in there that you would want to buy for your kid next year. At oh, Christmas. you mean like uh. Like kind of um, like making it with the explicit purpose of uh, you know as selling far as shit. I'm of aware, it. As far as I'm aware, and I've been avoiding the spoilers, so I haven't been reading the reviews. But the reviews I've seen, which are the ones that have been put out by the company that made the movie, say that it's great. I haven't seen anything about obvious merchandising opportunities or shameless whoring of the franchise to to a new generation taking the dreams and hopes and 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 honestly the iconography of generations previous who are still alive and smashing it to bits and then reforming it into a cheap piece of software that they feed to children nothing like that i heard i mean i haven't watched it yet but i hear like people talking about like some like porg shit or whatever the fuck like the impression i get is like that was supposed to be something that was marketed in that kind of way it's like, I know, no, it's just having no idea you, what it even fucking looks like. Yeah, did you, did you not pay attention to what happened with Ewoks? Do you know what those things are? They're yeah. a special joke. I think I think like the yeah, porgs. So it's basically literally that again. The porgs, uh, from what I from what I understand, like the porgs are vastly more marketed than the Ewoks ever were, but they were never like beat over your fucking skull like the Dude, Ewoks were in the movie. If, if, in this day and age, if you sold an animatronic life size Ewok doll robot right and right. people bought that for their children and you look at what that animatronic face from the fucking 80s look like that would terrify your children endlessly they'd be like there's a <laughs> troll in my room no i bought that for you that's your toy it's an ewok i don't give a fuck get it out of here i can see it see thinking about that though like because like well, along the lines of like selling like toy lines off of cartoons like that's kind of when you had like this wave of like you know ninja turtles kill it and you have like street sharks um mm. you know like the uh, the wow. mutant superhero yeah. teams it's but then like sharks. battle toads was kind of <laughs> like that and i actually recently kind of like found myself looking at that fucking short no not short-lived it was like one episode of a battle toads cartoon like, there was, like, this weird Thanksgiving cartoon block with, like, 
a specific cartoon I was trying to find, and then it just happened that like Battle Toads was in that fucking block. That's crazy. They made an actual like Battle Toads cartoon show. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a I failed know, pilot. I, I know. I vaguely, I, I kind of remember that actually. I remember they they wanted to do that because there was like some hype around it too. Because Battle Toads had this oh, cult yes, following because it was a badass game. I yeah. Mean, as, as far as fucking scrolling, fucking like fighters go. That thing, like, I mean, I remember I uh, came off Double Dragon, and I'm like, Super Nintendo, what? Battletoads? Holy shit, I can move on another axis. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. and, and then, like, revolutionary um, gameplay. And then they did do Battletoads Double Dragon. Uh, the fucking, actually, the NES one was the last, yeah, it was the last game I ever got for NES, Battletoads and Double Dragon. And they brought back those fucking shitty uh, racing stages. Like, that was the thing with Battletoads. I didn't find... I mean, let me not say I didn't find it hard. It's a hard fucking game. Mm. But those racing stages... like any, That's always been a thing that throws me when you have a stage that kind of like is fundamentally different from the rest of the game. Which so basically, like, like, it's like... Racing it's, shit. Yeah, it's like you, know, you interrupt the genre of the yeah. game you're playing and you throw in this like mini game like, oh, by the way, did you like Space Invaders? Oh, you didn't? Oh, too bad. You gotta beat Space Invaders now in order to get the game. Uh-huh. Oh. And it's like it's not even like it never is just like at least if you're gonna have a mini game, have it be you know like a a reasonably challenging version. Like it's like let's do this mini game that's nothing like the rest of the game and have it be as fucking hard as possible. Well, I mean that was that's the funny thing though. You can take you can take your your modern hard to beat game, yeah, mm -hmm. Dark Souls, and compare it to how Dark Souls, and compare that to you know. Lion King. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh god. Or, or or Aladdin. Any of the Disney games were impossible. Yep. Um, Dude, like early on in my channel, I did like a like a let's play of fucking the Lion King and like a lot of classic fuck. Actually, you know that fucking um that profile picture I use on my YouTube where I'm just like it's like I got the laser background and I'm yelling at the screen for whatever reason. I yep. think that came from the battle to from the uh, Lion King stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me yelling about fucking the the um the elephant tails. Because mm -hmm. the elephant, if you remember that game, now the elephant tails made no fucking sense. Like they're swinging back and forth, mm -hmm. but it's not enough to just touch them to grab onto them. You have to touch on a specific part of the tail, and it's yep. not clear which part. Oh yeah, no, I I I my you're a young me, cub my... at the time though. You're a young cub. You have to. Figure this out. That's part of the glory of that game. Is it's like it's it's like growing up. You know, several times you will jump and grab for something you think is going to happen, and you'll just fall to your death three times, and then you'll have to start over from early childhood again. <laughs> for me, like the one that always killed me was um, uh, there was there was two. I uh, I can't remember exactly at what point in the game, but there was Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That one drove me fucking crazy. But the <laughs> that one, was a good game, though. Oh, mm -hmm. fucking dope ass game. The the one that killed me was Mega Man Two, the fucking dragon level, and I did eventually beat. Oh my beat god, it. yes. Fuck, man, that was so hard. God damn it. Actually, having a decent time with Mega Man through and through. Mega oh, Man was like fantastic my game. jam. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I can't remember the dragon level being particularly difficult. So maybe you're just a inferior maybe class of maybe, human, maybe and you need bad. And and it, yeah, maybe it's a good thing that like our different classes of human live in different parts of the country. <laughs> Fuck off! See, oh, damn it, brought it back to the beginning. The first joke. Never mind. At right. least so I know like, how to pump my own gas or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a bit of fun between friends, you know. Mm -hmm. What's you know? <laughs> People who don't know how What's... to pump their own gas don't get in the ethno state, apparently. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's affecting you right now. You're one of those people. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I do know how to pump my own gas. They just don't fucking let me in this state. It's fucking. No, no, they I'm loving that the pictures of like women like standing there like squirting the gas onto the fucking <laughs> side of the car. <laughs> oh my god! Like, <laughs> Portland is my favorite meme this week. <laughs> oh god, Portland is uh, always they, a fucking meme, man. Jesus I've Christ. Dated, I've, I've dated a couple girls from Portland now too, and it's I love it because they both always want to like they'll come out to New Hampshire here in the winter and they'll see like just like heavy snowfall and fucking five six foot snowbanks along the sidewalks, 
And they'd be like, in Portland, they put hats and scarves on statues. And I'd be like, we don't even give those to homeless people here. They do. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever hear of uh, you ever hear of knit bombing? It, that sounds. I'm, I'm, my head is like going crazy with ideas of what that could be, and they're all the most Portland things I could fucking imagine. But it's please, a very, it's a very, tell. it's a very Portland thing. It happens in Eugene too, but like there will be these roving bands of knitters, people who are just all about knitting, and they will go out, uh, hundreds of them at a time, and they'll find something and they'll knit all over it, like fucking all over it. Sometimes you'll have like a. Uh, uh, a pioneer statue, and they'll knit a sweater on him, like, on his body and shit, right? Uh, the one time I found a knit bombing here in town was there was a footbridge, and I, they, I don't know how long it took them to do this, but it must have been a team of at least 100 people all knitting at the same time, and they covered the entire footbridge hand railings in the most psychedelic fucking knitting I've ever seen in my life. Now the problem is, is that when I found this, I was frying so fucking hard at the time, and I got one of those uh, moments of frying mm, for the those who might not live in tripping the my land. balls off, tripping okay. tripping face really hard on very strong LSD, and I, I I come upon this, and it's one of those things when when you're tripping really hard, you find it, and you're like. This isn't real. And because this can't be real, this is going to terrify the shit out of me because there's no <laughs> fucking way I just found an entire bridge covered in knitting. And so you panic. And you get really It's because you're aware of how your mind is at the moment, so you're like you're not sure like mm -hmm. if it's real or really there. That's you right. You know, I'm I'm sorry, I've done lots of acid. As no one is surprised by. But mm -hmm. one thing I will say is if I if I encountered a footbridge especially or just a bridge covered in knitting, right? Mm -hmm. And I felt it, and I realized it was there. My first impression wouldn't be so much I'm tripping too hard, this can't be real, as much as, like, I'm tripping so hard, this actually has to be real. This can only happen to me when I am this fucked up on acid. Because <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't encounter something like this otherwise. It's, you know, you see, you see the weirdest shit in reality Dude, when you're you tripping. just have a tendency to find shit in those situations. I don't know what it is. You know what like, I mean, like, then, yeah. Like, the mushrooms, alright, so I'm in Prague with my old band, and we had, like, a, like not a long distance to the next um, city, so we just did mushrooms. And we wandered around this one fucking park, and somehow, like, they lose me, the rest of the band loses me, and they find me. And I'm, like, staring at this big, like, like monolith that, like, at the beginning of Space Odyssey, except it's painted with, like, squiggly shit. The only thing like it in the fucking park, and it was really real because like they're panicking that I disappeared, and I just I'm like, no, I have to look at this right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's the thing is like weird shit will happen to you more when you're tripping on acid or mushrooms, and not you because you're tripping on acid or mushrooms, but just because it has to. That way, you can be like, no, wait, that actually happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I have a tendency. I, I have a tendency to like squat with all of the fucking gutter punks downtown when I'm tripping. I'll just like walk over and sit down with them and start, you know, acid babbling at them and shit. It's fun. <laughs> it's interesting. No, the, you know, the real trick to do that is to go to universities. That's how it used to be done. You know, not like, here, I, I'm, dude. I'm well read and really high right now. I'm gonna go down to the university and walk around the quad and see who will listen to me. You don't do that here in, in Eugene, the University of Oregon, like, you try and trip around the University of Oregon and you just have a bunch of fucking Chad bros and Beckys, like, all rolling on fucking ecstasy trying to touch you and shit, and that's not really the kind of that's not the crowd you want to be in when you're tripping, man. It's not fun. Not really. And it depends on what kind of, you know what you need to do. Eat your eighth of mushrooms. Watch half of the Libertine, then try it. Okay, um, I can't say I've ever seen the Libertine. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen oh. that either. Oh, okay. The both of you are in. For, all right, never that's mind. A, that's a Johnny Depp movie, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a Johnny Depp movie. Is but he's playing um, John Wilmot, the second Earl of Rochester, I think. Uh, the guy was a playwright, poet, and pervert in Ed 
I want to say Edwardian. I don't know my English history. He was a, uh, you know, it's a, you know, back in the day when people still stabbed each other, um, mm-hmm. but they dressed fancy. Um, yeah, he was a uh, libertine. He was a debauched, drunk uh, playwright who was repeatedly expelled from London I like him for already. making for making fun of the king and writing poems and plays about how England was about nothing more than just fornicating to. Uh, avoid examining the desperation of living in England. I'd rather watch Quills. I'd rather get really high on on some hallucinogens and watch Quills again. That'd be good. I'd be into that. Mm. Now, uh, how are we on time? Do we want to start chatting with people yet? Yeah, it's about that time. Uh, you gonna hang out with us, uh, Justin? Yeah, I got some time. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna go smoke a butt real quick while you figure out the first person here, and if it's Squiggums when I get back. Why? We have oh. to pull in Squiggums. It's the first. He, he had the slot last week, and he gave it up. <sighs> That's true, he did. Yeah. What's up with Squiggums? I saw people in the chat asking oh, you'll, if I met you'll Squiggums. I know, you'll find yeah. out. Don't worry. Squiggums, Don't be so impatient. Squiggums, Squiggums <laughs> is, a, is, a, is a dear guy. He's, he's pretty amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, shit. Actually, if this is going to work, we actually need to get you into the Discord with us. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Like, the the main Saints Discord, or you have, like, a show Discord? Yeah, the main Saints Discord, and then I'll, uh, I'll drag you in. Yeah, and then you just mute us because you were here with do us. You need a, do you need an invite into it? Um, I'm in the actual thing. Okay. Let me see, uh, where do I go here? Try hopping into music discussion, and then I'll drag you in. Music discussion. By the way, for everyone who's interested in secret yeah. discords, this happens yeah. to be a code word for I like ELO. Live show. And then we have to right click on both me and Nick and drag our user volume all the way to zero. I lost. Uh, wait, what am I? Look- I don't like use in. Uh, we well in court. I don't use Discord that much. I'm trying to find the. Yeah, I moved you in the Justin room. Wang. Live show should be down all the way to the bottom. Live show. Oh, there I see you. Yeah, and then oh, right click on both you. both of us and just drag the drag the volume all the way. I'm down. assuming you're a raw water expert. I am raw water expert. <laughs> yeah, I got a video yeah, coming out tomorrow. Me about that raw water shit, like I kind of had an idea like years ago to like kind of like do that as a way to scam hippies. Like, oh, yeah. just get like just get like a bunch of jars and collect rainwater and be like, hey, this is like you know like real water, man, and like <laughs> <laughs> this is and conscious sure enough, activated, man. <laughs> Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. the, the way you like nature intended, and then you people are doing it now, <laughs> spending mad money. I'm like, fuck! I, mean, I left money on the table. Yep, I know, man. I, I've got a, I got a video coming out about it tomorrow with my my hemlock moon wolf characters. That's gonna be a fucking, <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking living nightmare. <laughs> but whatever. Um, but yeah, let's get a, uh, let's get Squiggums in. <laughs> I'll say hi to Squiggums and shoot the shit a bit, and then I'm gonna smoke my cigarette. All right, man. All right, Squiggums. All right, Squiggums. Unmute yourself, you son of a bitch. Hey-o. Oh, there he Hey-o. is. Hey-o. Uh, one thing. This is for Wang. What's up? I'm going to need you, and there's a moderator called Anahata Hearts. I'm going to need you to personally DM us your uh, your band's tour schedule, because we are right near where you play. Oh, she was telling me you. about this, yeah. We want we want to be able to see you because we would be there and we'll because your uh, song that you played uh, they played in the intro mm-hmm. was amazing. Thank you. Wait a big metal Wait. Fan. You're coming oh. to New England? No, dude, I'm in New Jersey. I'm not talking to you. Squiggums, come now. No, no, we have uh, we we're not planning to go there. We, we don't have anything booked for there right now, but we are doing like a New York headliner in um in February. I was telling Anna Hara has uh, Anna Hara Hearts this that um. We don't have like all the details hashed out yet, but it's probably gonna be like towards the end of February that we'll be yeah, doing that. Yeah, because I know a good venue you can do in Brooklyn. It's called uh, the Knitting Factory. It would perfect. I know the Knitting Factory. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna say is uh oh, this is also a daily reminder for you, Nick. Fix your car. Is that in the Bowery? <laughs> no. No, he fix. He said fix your car. No, I heard that, but I'm curious. Is the Knitting Factory in the Bowery? It I used believe so. to be. It's it's right near there. It's uh there's actually this really good restaurant over there that I that me and my cousin went to when we went to see uh mystery we're, stalls. We're and talking about was, Manhattan though, you're not really narrowing not it Manhattan, down. It's like, there's Brooklyn. A real... Yeah, well no, but the Bowery's in Manhattan. Yeah, I think they changed it, whatever. Yeah, back in the but, day uh, it was over there, then they moved it to Brooklyn. 
Oh. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah. So there was that. How was your guys' day so far? Because I'm... Because I just shoveled up a foot of snow with my dad <laughs> and drinking <laughs> Anchor Anchor uh, Brewing Co.'s Christmas beer. Ooh, which is tasty. Really good. Tasty. Yeah, Anchor does nice work, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been editing all fucking day, laughing at myself being a fucking retard, and uh, now I'm drinking some uh, good wine and chilling out, man. It's a good day. Yeah, of course. I mean, how are you supposed to be sober after that shit performance you did on PUBG? <laughs> oh, you guys been playing PUBG? I just got that shit the other day. Did you play with me now, oh, boy? I got oh, ten frames now. per second gun. Yeah, well, well we're boy, we're we're gonna have to play, man. We're gonna have to play. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, might have to be a. I might actually have to like renew Monkey in his shotgun. Just like bring that yeah. back. Be like, hey, more PUBG streams. Yeah, it's been like four or five months, but I still play this game badly. Don't worry. Yeah. Right. Well, Squigums. To be too. fair, to be fair, Squigs, I was not the first person to die every time. Yeah, that was usually Waffle, or Poveros. Yeah. Or me, actually. I remember one Thank time you. I died because I fell off. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I play the coward rat, because that's the smartest thing to do when you have 10 per second. I'm going to go smoke a cigarette, if you're still here right, when I get back. Dart. Fantastic. Dart, Otherwise, I'll talk to you in a moment. All right. No, but, uh, what was I trying to say before? I was remembering, uh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's going out for dart. I'm trying to remember what I was trying to think before, <laughs> but, uh. What about a dart? Uh, dart. It's uh in Canada. Is instead of saying uh, cigarette, you say dart. A dart. Yeah. Is that remember. really? I'm gonna go for a dart. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna go out for a dart. Uh, you don't eat Kraft macaroni and cheese. You eat Kraft dinner, and mm-hmm. Tim Hortons is basically the best thing. Well, not not Tim right Hortons now. Is pretty lit. Dude, Tim Tim Hortons actually is catching some flack right now because Wait, they, what uh, happened? Well, they they had to like increase their minimum wage because of like the federal minimum wage increase or something like that, and so they're cutting benefits for the Tim Hortons employees, oh. and everybody is like out for their fucking blood now. It's crazy. Well, yeah, because it's Canada. They reek of Tim Hortons and socialism. Have we learned nothing? I'm not just saying, man. I will say the craft dinner thing is actually very true. I did once hit on a girl by saying I was gonna eat her pussy like it was craft dinner, and she went for it. It worked. It fucking. But she was worked. Canadian. She was Canadian. Right. Yeah. Huh. Now I remember what I was about to say. Sorry, this is getting off. Uh, this is for the Anna Anna Maniacs. Five bucks. I'm placing right here, right now. Five bucks. They screwed up royally. Five is, bucks. Oh, you think they're you think they're gonna screw it up royally? Oh yeah. Oh, what, they Five. actually are making a new one. Yeah, yeah. they're they're they're, they're oh, revitalizing shit. it. Shit. See, yeah. see, is that in 1990 that human would have gone off perfectly, but in 2017. It's not going to fly. I'm sorry to say, but we're going to get a lot of people from Hulu saying, This is politically incorrect. I, you, you, my kid needs to get like, shit like well, that. Right? Okay, so let's let's think about this, though, a little bit deeper, though. What if, what if, objectively, if you look back on it, what they do is just as politically incorrect or, or, or politically correct as they did before, but people overreact to it. I would put five bucks on that, on, on it being more like that. On yeah, them actually true. holding true to it, because like I I can remember very specifically there was a certain point in time I remember seeing uh, Dot wearing a fucking hijab. I remember that like at one point. You hijab me at hello. Yeah, yeah, hijab. <laughs> you hijab me at hello. Uh, but I I remember that. But like if you if you were to have Dot, uh, what what were the what was their last names? Uh. Warners, because, you know, yeah, Warner, Dot, yeah, yeah, the Warner Brothers yeah, yeah. and the Warner sister. Right, so if, if you had Dot Warner wearing a hijab now, everybody would shit the fucking bed. But I'm pretty sure uh, she wore a hijab at one point. No, they the wouldn't. I think I remember, it was like a gag for something or other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, for the love, I mean, for the love of God, the morals of the day, a man early to rise and early to bed makes him healthy, but socially dead. Right, yep. That oh, was, yeah. I still love that to that day. No, it's amazing. Any of those, like, oh, actually, I remember, like, I'm pretty sure, like, there were still people, like, even, like, butthurt about it back in the day. Although, granted, those were the days when, like, the people who were butthurt about everything were, like, the, um, the Christian nutjobs. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. It was, yeah, like they had all more. those, like, and I had everybody, they had all those fucking gags in there that was, like, some sexual innuendo every fucking episode. Mm-hmm. Like, that would be a thing. But uh, they're actually bringing back Rocco's Modern Life, too, speaking of that. Are they? Oh, what? Be like a they movie. are? Yeah. I think they're making like a movie or something. 
Oh my uh, god. Uh, I'm I mean, they get AR. Yeah, how AR much? Only. How how many? How much? How much of this? How much of this are we going to tolerate though? When 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 they're um they're realizing that that we who supposedly are the ones who are supposed to have money now. Yeah? yeah, we are the ones who are supposed to have money, and yet they're going to. Hey, what do they really like? Oh, we're gonna bring back invaders in because um uh, uh oh Johan's fucking like insane and desperate still, and like he's surviving on web comics. Let's offer him a bunch of money and be like, hey, you want a movie? Here you go. Rocco's Modern Life, same thing. Not only that, the kids these days, my own nine year old, she's got like a Rocco's Modern Life ball cap, right? And so, yeah, but. No one's getting anything new. No one's no one's giving any new real decent yeah, artists. Yeah, what are we gonna get? Star Wars and space poffins. Like, no, my God. no. Think about this. What are kids? What are kids into right now? What's like hip and cool for like the the ten to twelve set? Yeah, the fascist what? Paw Patrol, it's, right? Paw it, Patrol it's, is it. No, it, <laughs> they're fascists. It's, Fascist Paw Patrol. It's, it's, Fascist it's, it's, Paw Patrol. <laughs> no, don't. There's a guy like up the block from me that had like a uh, Paw Patrol and, inflatable for Christmas too. Oh yeah, massive. God. <laughs> yeah, the, the third Reich has come to my neighborhood. <laughs> is any of the chicken writer? See, writer is short for uh, third Reicher. All right. Okay. Okay. I don't right. know. All right. Look at the this. dog you whistle, man. It's a dog whistle, right? <laughs> Paw Patrol is a dog whistle. I'm fucking telling you, dude. Wake up, America! <laughs> it's it's right there between the lines. You gotta read between the lines, between the paws. You gotta <laughs> you gotta read between the lines. Damn it. That's right. Oh uh, no, but you know, Paw, Paw Patrol is fascist as Peppa Pig's is socialist. God, oh, yeah, but, yeah, but here's the thing. Why is it that 10 to 12 year olds right now are more interested in shit that we had when we were 10 to 12, yeah, um, than they are the shit that's being offered to them? What because shit? In the universe? What right I mean, now is on going some, to On some level, I think it might be because like, of what's like being made or what's not being made, but then I think our generation, like around that time period, it, there's this kind of like a force that we have that I feel like our parents didn't have that a lot of people our age range want to push the shit we like onto our kids. Mm. Like you see those Reddit posts all the fucking time where they're like, oh, I'm raising them right and they have them playing in NES or something like that. So I I feel like like growing up, my parents never really did that to me where she like would try to get uh, me into her childhood things. So I think that's a component of it. All I know is I'm gonna get my child to get like into nothing that I like, because Good then note. I could be, like, I could be like, Swingers. all right, you what don't like fuck? anything. What do you imagine no. your child would be like? An actual human being, like an actual normal person. Hand them, hand them books. You'd be like, read this. No, I yeah, I want him to actually read normal books and not read mangoes involving involving <laughs> mangoes. punching ghosts. Mangoes. Mangoes involving mangoes. giant robot punching jingoes. Listen, you're talking to a Gundam nerd, right? Well, I love listen, that. That, no, that's fair. Squiggums, listen, um, promote something now. Uh, promote something? Uh, let's see here. Shit, that, that, you put me on the spot and now- I'm Yes, gonna... I know! All right, all right, eh, eh. I, I could do the half-ass saying you guys are wang, but that's just too easy. Uh, there is, no, more uh... More of that, more of that, please, more yeah, of that. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I would put you as the undersub of the year, but then I realized is that that's already a play joke to begin with, like your acting career, so it's kind of hard to do that already. Squig, I'm getting out of nowhere. Okay, 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 okay. God, your damn! Career. Good, actually, because I'm not an actor. That's actually, yeah. Right. Oh, you have me beat on that one. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. God so damn! I have... Okay, so I have my under sub of the week. It's uh, it's actually uh, I kind of like this channel in a sense because it gets like the whole like uh, metaphysical in like a uh, little sense. It's called uh, Sage's Rain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to pick it up here, Squig. Wait, wait. So, uh, Sage is rain. No, Sage is rain. It's uh here. I'll put the link uh, the link for you. They just came out with a new episode uh, about uh X Men. I'm putting it in a. Uh, I'm gonna DM it to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, do it. Probably, uh, yeah, you'll he's... probably uh, watch oh, it. It's, uh... oh, give it Jeff links unless people are yeah, buying give it. it and then uh, just give it to Nick because I think Nick would like it a little bit more than you, as well as Wang. But Wang at this point is probably just going to be uh, 
going to be just like, what the hell is this shit? And he's probably going to get on like a whole spew about it. Oh, really? I kind of like it, though. All right. Sorry about that. Thank you again for having me on tonight. And guess hey. what? What? Thank you. I did nothing wrong. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Later, Squiggums. Good to <laughs> see you, pal. <laughs> Goodbye hey, to the trap bathos state of Richard Spencer. Oh, fuck me dead. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I, didn't even, I didn't hear who did nothing wrong. Oh, like, Count Dankula. Oh, yep. okay. That's true. Did, is he like... No. I didn't follow no. that? Uh, he's going, uh, his trial starts in a uh, handful of... In about six, five or six hours. Oh, shit. Something like that, yeah. Well, he's got to be up for it in like five to six hours. and then. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. He's got to be so, up for it. Probably by the time like we all wake up, uh, yeah, we're we're all gonna wake we're all gonna wake up because it's 2018 and it's not 2017, and we're gonna wake up and find out the Count Dankula has been exonerated on all counts. Goddamn right! If there's any if there's any fucking justice in the world, that's that's exactly what's gonna happen. Pinky's um, up for Count Dankula's innocence. Pinky's up for the fucking Dankula. Goddamn it! Uh, let's check over at Streamlabs. Nope. Okay. Random, random number. That's encouraging. Hey, shh, right. shh, shh. The, it's a system. The wine, it's a the wine is getting the better of me. So it's all good. Sorry. It's all good. It's so depleted. We're, we're good. We're good. Oh, it's it's absolutely depleted. This is a uh, barefoot. All right, we've got twenty-seven in the waiting room. Let's do a roll. Generate ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We haven't had Dragon Axe in a while. Yeah, we can bring him in. It's been like three weeks, I think. What's going on, Dragon Axe? How's it going, buddy? Doing good. How you guys doing? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> How you doing, man? Doing good. How are you guys doing? I uh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? God damn it! What the fuck? <laughs> This is like some like old like Queen's Jewish lady voice. How are you doing, Bubby? <laughs> How are you doing, Bubby? Oh Bubby. my god, it's been too long. Oh, hello, Bobaloo. How are oh you? Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, I'm fucking schwitzing. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your, how's, your, how's your New Year's so far, Dragon oh X? God. Oh, so far so good. Fucking uh, letting work build up. Yeah, let wait. You're letting you're letting work build up. Yes, because of how our industry tends to go when we get uh, a large amount of jobs in a short period of time, we peter it out to where we actually uh, have work for the entire month. Okay, okay, that's fair. So, uh, so like, well, what kind of what kind of work are you into? I'm a land surveyor. A land surveyor. Oh, crazy. Okay. Do you work with like uh do you work with like local governments or anything like that? Um technically, yes, but no, um my particular company deals with uh surveys for mortgages, serve uh refinances and sales. Okay. You, let me ask, let me ask. Do you ever get do you ever get personally or even professionally upset with landslides thinking to yourself we had that laid out and then you went and fucked that up why'd you do that no 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 i don't have to wait to uh be upset about that shit it's called telephone and electrical work wait so in that case do you get excited when you see landslides thinking that you'll have all new land to survey? No, I'm more interested in large areas of land being re uh, sectioned from agricultural to residential use, to be quite honest. Okay. Okay. Cor cor Cornfields to suburbs, then. So you're kind of hoping for that lab grown meat to pop off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, yeah, but uh, usually uh, we end up, I do a lot of the uh, properties that are flip homes, so you get you get all sorts. Oh, sure. Sure, I bet. Yeah, no, that's have you ever, have you ever Have you ever had to survey a home 
with nothing more well a, a tract of land with nothing more than a refrigerator box on it i've seen plots of land uh carved out by the u.s census that's a bit of property with a box <laughs> just a fucking box that. that's how yeah. i used to play the sims i'm not even joking my <laughs> ex-girlfriend no my ex-girlfriend was a census taker but before she was taking the census she had to actually take the residences and she was told if you find a box in a certain portion of land which is undisturbed by anything other than the box and someone clearly lives there that's a residence like so, it. wait, 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 so I, I think haven't if they... had that. Okay, <laughs> wait, yeah, so no. they, they, they count it as, like, technically a fucking residence for that? Okay. Like, that doesn't make listen, any sense. No, listen, uh, she, she, we lived out in the Monadnock region in New Hampshire. This was out by, like, Keene, about a half hour from Vermont, yeah? Okay, yeah. So, loads of woods and mountains and shit around there, and then there's old camp trails and campsites and all this shit, whatever. Yeah. Now, there was, and she took me on a tour of a bunch of them. She found, in one case, there was, out in the middle of this pasture, which was privately owned, uh, atop this, not quite a mountain, but a very big hill, you know, this wonderful, like, tract of land in which the middle of it was basically, it's it was like, it was the kind of place you think the great Gatsby would have private, off-season parties at. It was one <laughs> hallway... With a kitchen and a bathroom and several little bedrooms, but they were all set up, you know, they were bedrooms. Okay. Um, glass windows along every wall, big doors, big patio, supposed to be a fountain there at some point. And, um, yeah, it was clearly just like a 40s, like a 30s or 40s fucking party flop house. Out in the middle of nowhere, just built by this rich, weird fucker. And then at the same day, in the same day, she brings me down to what is effectively a tent city. Okay. Built in built in an old campground that no one had any idea who owned it anymore. Um, but the U.S. Census required that all of those places be registered as domiciles. Interesting. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, it was fabulously interesting. She came around with her fucking. This is like 2008, so she had this big clunky uh, uh, Palm Pilot thing with like a keyboard here. <laughs> I kind yeah, of it's have, fascinating I, as fuck. Well. I, I, I had guess a friend... it's one of those things where you kind of have to draw the line somewhere of what is uh, and isn't a domicile. Because all right, so say it's not just a house, then you have the tent. Oh, you can you can live in a tent, right? Oh, because yeah. then you you want run into all kinds if... of weird things if you don't allow a tent. So like, does the house have to be made of certain materials to be considered a living space? And I guess even cardboard counts if boxes count. That's the engineer's job, Legos. to be perfectly mm -hmm. honest. Yeah, well, I mean, so you work at land surveying. Uh, is there, what's what's the basic, what's the basic determinate rules that would make something a domicile from from your perspective as as what you do? Well, technically, with what I do is far more concerned with the property boundaries and the relationship of all permanent structures to those boundaries. But they have to be permanent structures, right? Mm -hmm. In general, yes, there are some exceptions, but um, in general, we are most concerned about permanent structures, utilities, and other such uh, features and where they are in relation to the perimeter of the allotted land. Well, so then, then uh, according to that, then, like, what by what rules do you measure something as a permanent structure, though? That's what I'm really curious about. Um, in general, uh, if it's got a foundation or cement pad, we consider it as permanent in the case of sheds, decks, uh, okay. water features such as pools, um, but something such as the curbing you would put around your garden, that little uh, cement curbing, that's not permanent. Okay, if you, okay. If, if you, you put uh... a shed... Go ahead. If, if you're if you're just joining us now here on uh, KWNPR, uh, we're talking about domiciles, structures, and sheds in the modern age. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, now, fa no, but I'm fascinated about it, though. I'm fascinated about Should it. I like, <laughs> so I, I had a I had some friends of mine, um, <clears throat> and I, as far as I know, they still do this. I just haven't been out there in years. They did this thing where they bought a piece of property right by a swamp, and the only thing that was on it was a fucking barn. Big ass mm -hmm. barn, big fucking barn, 
Um, and <clears throat> they turned this thing, and it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere, in the middle of nowhere, like nestled into the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. And it's just this barn, and they filled the fucking thing with art. They built a stage, built a fucking sound system, built like all the lights for a huge, like at least 800 person uh, capacity show. <clears throat> they 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 got like ch old church pews, clawfoot tubs full of fucking pillows and shit, uh, it, like hay bales stacked up, like coliseum seating along the back and everything, and made a fucking venue in the middle of nowhere. And it was one of the coolest places to ever go and like and experience a show. And all these like underground, uh, notorious bands would play out there, but they always ran into these problems because. The, uh, the people who, who dealt with the bureaucracy of the land and of, like, what counts as a venue, what counts as a home, what counts as, like, a commercial oh, God, space. yeah. Yeah, they had all these fucking problems all the goddamn time. Wait, where did you say this venue was? This is, uh, this is maybe, I'd say 12 miles outside of Newport, Oregon. It's called the Art Barn Farm. Oh, okay, because I think I played a barn, but I think it was in Washington. No, mm. what you went to mm. was the Fart Barn Art, and that was a different <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, way, way different. <laughs> way different. Way different. So, that being the case, I mean, given the fact that, like, you know, farts are art and so on and so forth, I, 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 I have to ask Dragon, who would you like to promote tonight? Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, sure, I'll shill uh, Oculus Imperia for uh, 40k lore. Oh, yeah. Oculus Imperia is great. Oh, you got to catch some of that? Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Uh, it, you're not the only person to be mentioning it in the uh, in the Saints Discord. Like, I'm a huge 40k guy. I love Warhammer 40k. Shit's dope. Uh, that oh, song you sang um, earlier was been watching uh, like a ton of larry bundy jr videos yes and he was yeah he was just talking about um or it might have been an old video i saw but he was talking about um games that were almost other franchises mm -hmm. and apparently the well, warcraft that entire universe was supposed to be a warhammer adaptation yes but they couldn't was. get their shit together yep and they got That's sued fucking crazy they got fucking sued hard <laughs> by games workshop because of that <laughs> shit yeah I, I i have previously harassed the shit out of larry bundy uh, because I want to do a voiceover on one of his videos and whatnot. I think I'm gonna have to wait a few months before I can try again. But uh, he was amenable yeah. to the idea. He was like, "No, oh, no, it sounds great." Blah, blah, blah. You know. hey, awesome. I only, yeah, I only hey, found him. A, I only found him a little while ago. Yeah. But like, I think I I must have been watched like his his entire fucking library the past month. Fact Hunt is fucking amazing. Uh, him and uh, Daniel Iverson. Uh, mm. Slopes, Slopes Game Room, yeah. you know, good fucking, good fucking videos, dude. Awesome. But yeah, Oculus Imperia, great 40k channel. Great 40k channel, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Stringstorm, that's who did that song I sent earlier in the pre-show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we'll have to, uh, I'm gonna look at that a little bit later, for sure. But hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you for coming on. Appreciate uh, you for having me. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, have a good one, buddy. All right, Later, talk dog. to you in a bit, Later, brother. Peace. All right, we're doing good on time. Really good on time, actually. Uh, we're at twenty-eight in the waiting room. <clears throat> so, hey, I put up this uh, this meme, apparently of uh, Logan Paul walking in on Mems dominating me in a dominatrix room. That's uh, pretty fascinating. Yeah, um, as if I didn't have enough nightmares already. <clears throat> you know what? Just Don't kink shame me, Nick. One. Don't you fucking kink shame me. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. We got BPO pineapple pizzas. BPO pineapple pizza t pizzas tan. What's going on, man? Uh, hello? Oh, here hello. We go. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? How you doing? Ah, pretty good. Sweet. How's your week been? Uh, how's the how's the New Year treating uh, you so far, buddy? Uh, very good. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys? How you doing? 
I'm, I'm fucking fantastic. What's been going on in your life, man? What's uh, what's what's new? Are you uh, doing anything special for the new year? Maybe a New Year's resolution? Yeah, starting in, uh, to make videos and stuff. Yeah? No oh. shit. Yeah. Good gods help you. Uh, you. Yeah, it's a it's a great medium. You can wade into it, and then you can <laughs> smell the shit <laughs> sifting up around your nipples. You know. It's a good time, man. You gotta enjoy yeah, it. Right great. now, I'm just practicing editing and stuff like that. So oh, that's yeah. where it begins. Have you put out a video yet? No, <laughs> no, I'm not putting out anything I'm doing right now. Oh, why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Wait, uh, wait, 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 why not? Stephen King method, I guess. Mm, yeah, I do right? the thing where it's like do three videos of anything you can think of, and then put out the fourth. Fair, fair. Hmm. Yeah. Stephen King uh, yeah. method. Did Did you read on writing? Yeah. Yeah, that was like, I, there was a period of time when I was like super like getting to screenwriting and stuff, and I just kind of never finished anything. Yeah, no, but I, that was a part of that process. That book, that reading, reading on writing is like the book that pushed me to finish my novel for sure. Mm. As a trip, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, well, yeah. The the thing is with like doing YouTube and shit, man. Like the uh, you have to face basic certain uncomfortable facts when you're going to be doing it, which means that you have to acknowledge that your first video is going to be fucking awful. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be terrible. That's why and, I'm not putting out yeah. the first three. Well, no. it doesn't. It, it, <laughs> no. it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, no. The first, the first one you put out, the first one you put out, people, there will be people who love it. Oh yeah, and mm -hmm. you Absolutely. will not understand why. And those people, if you keep remaining true to what it was that you were saying in that first video, your first video will suck because it will be your raw and un edited or unrefined unpolished version of what you want to put out in the world and the people who come to you for that right if you stay true to that they will stick around and they will stick around and around and around something i have heard that's like pretty consistently and i kind of in a lot of ways, I feel the same way, which is like uh, perhaps an argument of why you shouldn't hold on to so much content before putting out what you want to put out is it seems like the the majority of YouTubers find that their personal favorite videos of what they've made is 100% different from what their fans actually think is their best work. I've seen that like no matter the size of the YouTuber, it seems like that's you know the rule. It, and and here's actually a thing too. If you want to build your channel based on your work, right? Based on your thoughts, your expressions, all of that. Um, do not give in to the uh, hosting live streams with bigger YouTubers thing. The biggest video on my channel right now is a live stream with Kraut and Sargon, right? Strictly on name. Strictly on name. That's what that is. If you want your channel to grow and you want actually to launch a channel, if you're on round three of trying to make a video, make the video based on whatever the fuck round four ends up being. Because your harshest critics out in the public will always be far more charitable and honest than yourself. Oh you yeah. Just make mm -hmm. make you make your shit. Make your shit. No one's going to fucking hold you to account if like your audio isn't fully mastered or uh oh jump cuts didn't make sense or whatever. Make your video and people will judge that based on its merits. And if you encounter a point in time in which people judge your video based on merits outside of what what you created was, fuck those people. Those will never be the audience you want anyway. Right. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, nope. I was pretty much just wondering. I was just pretty much gonna just go with uh, whatever happens, happens, and see oh, how yeah. I can, how far I can go. Mother, with what I have. Mother, motherfucker, it's your channel. <laughs> and, beginning and end of story. You basically, you basically have to walk into this, I into it with the idea that. Uh, everything that you do from each video that you put out is going to be an improvement upon itself. Uh, or at least it should be. At the very least, it should be. Uh, it's always a learning experience. It's always like finding your pace, finding your editing technique, finding whatever kind of method is really going to work for you, uh, finding your voice in whatever kind of genre that you want to work in. Um, and 
and, and don't join any sketchy discords. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. And you'll be fine. And you'll do good. You'll do really good. You'll you'll prosper. You'll prosper quite a bit. Nick's face right now. <laughs> yeah. Everything. I'm sorry, literally yeah, yeah. all I did was join that shit. Yeah, shit, you know. Oh, but listen, hang on, hang on, listen. And if you're watching, um, Callum or whatever your name was, morally, yes, I don't deserve to live. But morals are a relative thing, and according to my morals, no one deserves to live. So It's fair. Be grateful, yeah. be grateful my friend, yep. that I'm not in charge. So I was asking, I was asking this of a uh, of my my Patreon Discord stream earlier today, um, and I, I really haven't gotten a, a good answer on it yet. So I'm I'm hoping maybe BPO Pineapple Pizza Stan, maybe maybe you can help me out with this. So uh, over the past three weeks, I've gotten several messages um, where I've been said it's been it's been expressed to me that I am useless to whites, that I've been excommunicated from whiteness, and that I've had my white card revoked. So. Here's where here's where I'm kind of confused. Uh, like ultimately, this is a fascinating situation for me. But if I am no longer white, what does a human being default to if they're no longer white? Like, what will I become then? Jew. No, Jew. I don't think I don't think that's the case. If what, you're not you black, ask the around. Default, do you have to ask around which one, which race would take you then? That's true. Fuck. I guess I have to petition to races now to like figure Fucking out who's gonna take me. Punish I mean, holiday. A man with no race. Pakistan's always <laughs> open to. <laughs> <laughs> the man with no race. Oh my god! I should market myself as that. Well, you were the blackest man on YouTube. You said. So. Yeah, but that was just that was just that was just pillow talk, baby. Yeah, but now you're the least racist man on YouTube. Least race person on YouTube. I could still be racist. Can you be racist if you're not a race? That is the question. Dude, this is I. My, I am. My mind is being blown on this one. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I. I already. I already espouse the virtues of me being a melanin vampire, but obviously, it's not taking. Like, I may suck the melanin out of my black victims, but so far, it's just not. It's not filling up. I mean, it, 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 your coat. yeah. Ooh, Dude, my it, dick, it, my dick, my dick, right my dick looks like a fucking police nightstick. That's for sure. But it just doesn't <laughs> spread anywhere else, you know. Got that fucking ebony stab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've got nothing. Oh no, keep going, man. When you got nothing, that's when you keep going. That's that's. I feel like I'm gonna need a shovel here pretty soon. Um, yeah, it's almost it's almost like we've actually reached this critical moment in which. Um, well, you know, a bunch of tiny dick white dudes are really afraid black dudes are going to fuck their girlfriends, I guess. So we need a political movement as a result of that. And then all of a sudden we're having to make jokes about it here. But we're not allowed to make jokes because keep in mind there's some fucking joke police out there. And they're making sure that you don't make any jokes about anything that they find too sensitive mm -hmm. in regard. You know, regardless of the context, we'd hate to do that. But uh, here we are, 2018 Midweek Saints. Um, we're making jokes about shit. People are going to be upset. People are going to be offended. People are going to see that I got my hair in a fucking ponytail. And they're going to say, what are you doing, man? You're like one step shy of a man bun. And I'll say to myself, man buns are t pure 2016. It's retro now. I can get away with it. Move on to why it is that the white race is the smartest race outside of Asians who we're going to ignore for a while because we got all the nukes. Let's move on. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, fuck! Uh, that being the case, BPO Pineapple, Pete's Terrian, do you have anything you'd like to show? <laughs> uh, not this week. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, everybody. Well, thank you for coming. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Cheers, bro. See ya. Hey, um so have you guys seen uh have you guys seen the new Dave Chappelle that just came out on uh on Netflix? Mm -hmm. Oh fuck man. Yeah. So incredible. I heard people are butthurt about this one too. Oh yeah, well people are always gonna be butthurt about Dave. He doesn't he he makes no apologies. Uh I'm not hot of hearts. I am one rug away from Lebowski. Um It's the rope. You've on you've been here. Have you found a rug? Are you, you being, are you, are you being besieged by marmots 
right Honestly, now. Honestly, no. You know what? I mean, like, I'm, I was worried about like the whole alt right coming into my comments saying like, hey, 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 you're a cuck. But now I understand like the real threat is from people saying like, what about the rug Lebowski? Uh. It's not fair. Yeah, we cut off her toe. It's not fair. Anyway, uh, no, the, the the new Dave Chappelle is is savage. Uh, it is. It is unironically self-aware and incredibly deep. Incredibly fucking deep. It's really, really good. I suggest anybody who gets a chance to go and watch Dave Chappelle's new Netflix special. It's in both of them. They're incredible. Absolutely. Now, he's just been is... churning out those fucking specials, man. Now, yeah, he's, like, he's going... Were just, he's... like, not a year ago, even. Yeah, he's uh, he's retiring after these again for a little while. He's probably not mm. going to do them for a bit. But I'm um, gonna keep I'm gonna keep making it rain on my webcam here until I start seeing those uh, streamlabs come in uh, <laughs> with the same dollar. <laughs> 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 um, actually, let me go look and see. We did get some bits uh, from real life. Gimli Dink did nothing wrong. Too true. Too true. We got our resubscription for uh, two months now. Papel 101. Finally catching midweek live. Love you guys. We love you too, buddy. We love you too. So we're going to do make one rain, more. Bitches. We're going to do one make, more. Make it, make it rain, bitches. We're going to do it, one more. Make it, make it rain. You know, like, thinking about Count Dankula, like... Make it rain! It's been, like, <laughs> sunk into me, like, really, Stop like... The ass a, obviously, you. like, yeah, it's, it's funny, but we all hope he doesn't go to jail. But he really could... There's a possibility that he might literally get locked the fuck up for making a dog do a fucking stupid shit. He might. I, this- I will hire a C- I, I will hire a Navy SEAL team, right, to bust him out of prison and venture him off to Sweden, where he can identify as a lesbian Muslim woman, and he will be protected from all extradition. Yep. Damn right. Damn right. Mister Tickle Truck donated. Says Bam. So you don't have to make it rain anymore, buddy. Stop that. Anyway. All right. So one more. We're going to get one more, guys. Uh, by all means, don't jump out of the fucking room yet. Uh, wait until we make sure that this person is here. Because we've had problems with that before in the past. Um, we've got our random number generator up here. 29 people in the waiting room. Let's roll. Let's see if it's somebody who's been around before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Shit, I lost my count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We haven't had Satanic News Network on for like three weeks, haven't we? It's been a while. Bring them in one name you've never seen on. Bring in, well, we should bring in Satanic. Bring in Satanic two minutes, three minutes from now. Bring in someone you've never seen. Well, let's bring in Satanic for like three minutes and then we'll bring in somebody else. That was exactly what I said, yes. Okay, Satanic! Satanic News Network. See? This is why I make contingency plans. (laughs) Satanic! Sorry guys, I was muting the stream. (laughs) No worries, buddy. How you doing, man? I'm, uh, alright. Not great, but I mean, I'm alive. I can't, can't complain too much. Uh, it's fair. It's fair. But uh, how's your how's your New Year's so far? Well, I uh, I spent most of my New Year's assisting a, a drunk friend. So oh, it was we'll a good New Year's with you. No all New Year's. Yes, <laughs> until that part, at least for him. <laughs> Nick had to spend some of his New Year's taking care of me. It's true. It's totally true. <laughs> I had to do that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yep. See, I, uh, I wasn't trashed enough to forget it. That's the problem. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Oh well. Do you got any big, uh, any big news coming up for, uh, for twenty eighteen, man? Anything uh, you're you're branching out, really, uh, really inspired to do? Uh, I'm not really. Just kind of hoping. I'm planning on hoping to go to Rockville, USA, in Jacksonville later in april that'll probably be the biggest thing for a while that's cool other than that it's school and being a hermit in my room for a while so well uh so there's there's talk right now among the the saints discord that there's going to be a meetup in atlanta 
at some point, either in March. I've, or April. I have been I've been part of these discussions. Okay, I would and, have that would you, be absolutely killer. And you and you're going to be showing up because you're you're around there, aren't you? I'm actually in uh, the metro area right now. Hell yeah! Well, fucking but, shit. But uh, I go to. I go to school about four hours away, so I'll have to take a day off and come back up at some point if there's a, a meetup, which I can't really pass that up. And that's why that's why we need to lock, get that date locked down, because both me and Nick, and if Nick can't afford it, then I will make Nick afford it one way or the other, and we will oh, yeah, come down yeah. for it. Yeah. Because who knows what the fuck is going to happen with this goddamn Kilroy thing. If Kilroy happens, and I will say this, if Kilroy happens, I am fucking going. I will fucking go. If it if it happens, because I mean, why why the fuck not? But yeah, at this point, I'm more budgeting for the Saints meetup, which I think would be pretty badass. I think uh, an Atlanta meetup would be absolutely awesome. Just the the city itself has got a lot of really cool places to it potentially does. chill. Atlanta is dope. Does. Atlanta is hot. Atlanta is a fucking hell of a good time. I had such a good time last time we were there. You go to the aquarium. No, the Georgia no. Aquarium, is oh, the aquarium is so sick. It really oh. is. Nah, I just went to Battle and Brew with with Poison the Well and got wasted drunk. And then fucking I Gable actually, would not let me buy anybody food, and I was pissed off. I recently went to a Waffle House, and the waitress actually kept telling me about Battle and Brew, which oh, was really. I've never been, but I really want to. Dude, it's so good. I, nothing but video games all over the place, and everybody who works there is like an extremely hot gamer chick. Mm. Oh really? It's pretty nice. Oh yeah. Like it's like an arcade kind of setup, or like consoles. <clears throat> they have both. They have both. They oh, have uh, some arcade games. They have oh, like. Oh shit. They have banks of computers that are set up kind of like uh, the islands in a casino, where you'd have like uh, like um, slot machines, but instead, it's gaming systems set up where you can play like League of Legends or Dota two and shit like that. It's absolutely out of control. Oh, okay. That's yeah. super rad. Yeah, it's fucking great, dude. It's a really cool place. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, so we... For, for... Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, for, for being a, a native Atlantean, I, I haven't really been to a lot of different places. I, uh, grew up a little sheltered, so... Yeah, no, uh, I need. Fair. I want to go and pick out some really... Well, I mean, plus just certain areas in Atlanta you don't want to go to. Yeah, there are definitely places in Hotlanta you do not want to go to. Well, because we there have had a... you on uh, pretty recently, is there anything you want to show real quick before we uh, we get on? Uh, I already rolled to to see somebody who who's never been on, but uh, anything uh, you want right. to show? Uh, uh, let me think. the The new Hungry Lights album just dropped. It's on yes. Bandcamp. So it'll be on HungryLights.BandcampBandcamp.com. Yeah, uh, always gonna shoot show that. Uh, beyond that, I can't really think of much. All right, man. Well, it's always good to talk to you, buddy, and uh, we'll we'll probably be talking to you here in the Discord uh, after the show and whatnot. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, man, oh yeah, yeah. You take well, care, anyway, buddy. Before I, before I go, uh, Wang, uh, I fucking love your shirt. Oh, you thanks, that. dude. I'm so pissed. Like Hannibal Corpse came through a few weeks ago, and I had my ticket, but I wound up working so fucking late that I missed the show. Like that's the only one of the only mm. bands I like to see multiple times. One of the uh, worst things for me, because they, they recently, really recently, just came through Atlanta, like, within the last month. <coughs> I, uh, I was in the, I was about 15 minutes away from buying a ticket, only to find out that I had a final that day. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. That's I rough. was incredibly upset. That I last so was with, uh, <coughs> with Power Trip, too, who put out, like, probably, like, one of my favorite albums last year. Such a good, like, thrash throwback album. Power Trip, uh, Cannibal Reaper, Corpse, the other one, Arch Enemy, Trivium. They put out probably some of my favorite records of the year. Um, mm. I, this it's been a really good year for metal. Yeah, it really has. Yeah. yeah, everybody was like all up in our ass about like you have to listen to Trivium, and I'm glad you did. Trivium is amazing. <laughs> Man, I absolutely love Trivium. Yeah, one of my been show. one of my favorite bands. They put on an absolutely killer show. All right, well, sweet man, uh, we're uh, we're gonna get the last person in here, but it's uh, it's good to talk to you, buddy. Hey, I mean, it's always good to be on. Always good to be on. All right, cheers, man. Later, dog. Sweet. Okay, <clears throat> you doing okay, Nick? <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> uh, last one for the night. Let's see if uh, if they're here. 
Captain Chief 55, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, uh, shit, it's me again. It is you again. <laughs> wait, wait, you again? Wait, when was the last no, time no. you had you on? Oh, shit, fuck. Uh, two weeks ago? Oh, two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't last week. No, I think you picked me last week, but then you just knocked me down because <laughs> I was there two weeks ago. Oh shit! But okay, anyway. no, I get. I think you probably, you might be right. You might be right. Well, what's going <laughs> anyway, on, man? How are you guys doing? How's How's 2018 treating you so far, man? It's been fine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's good. It's, that's good. It's been amazing just being like five days away from my computer and then coming back to just seeing the whole Logan Paul fucking shit show and now oh. i get i get to make all these amazing images oh christ logan paul jesus by Christ. the way you're welcome you know Dude, was, Ruckus wait, video that was so good uh, i still have not watched it i still haven't like, watched it he kind of like called out the whole commentary community like on its hypocrisy about this topic and it was great like the one i made on it it was kind of like satirically kind of jabbing at it but he kind of like got more to the point of it Rucka is is quite possibly one of the smartest YouTubers I I have ever met. Rucka is so fucking aware, dude. He's so aware. The dude is incredible. Wait, so so Captain Chief, were you the guy who just did that 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 fucking meme yes. image with me and yes, Mems? I, I was bored while you guys were talking, so I decided to just okay. Let's let's just pull bring the first thing that came up to my mind. We'll just bring that one up right there. Okay. Well, I I have to say I appreciate that quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I uh, that took me like five minutes, and I'm fucking ashamed of it. Well, I'm glad to be sharing your shame on screen. Uh, I feel like that's actually part of my job, actually. So uh, that's that's good. I mean, that's good. yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, how was how was your New Year's? Did you celebrate it all? Uh. Uh, I just spent it on, just spent the night on uh, in a hotel room, watching the Saints. <laughs> oh, do <laughs> hey! Did you have any hookers? Any hookers? No, no, no. I <laughs> under the age for that shit. Yeah. I mean, it, it's no, uh, it's yeah. not legal for anybody, so you might as well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but if I hadn't been doing, if side, I hadn't been doing the Saints, I probably would have had some hookers. So you know, that's yeah. what it is. On the bright side, two days later, I got to do the Freedom Trail in Boston, so, hey, that was pretty fun. You got to do the what in Boston? The Freedom Trail. Freedom Trail? Yeah. What is that? That's a way in which uh, Boston tour guides get to make their living. Oh, no, I did it by myself, but uh, it was pretty fun. Well, then, what, hold, what, on, hold wait, on, wait a second. So you, denied, you denied a hard worker their, their wage, their daily wage? Like pumping yes. your own gas? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so Bring did, describe what is, what is this? What is this Freedom Trail? Let me tell me all about it's it. It's essentially just a, a bunch of stops that uh, pass by significant places from the Independence War. Wait a minute. Okay, so uh, Fallout Four. Yeah. Yes. Th that's that's what you're talking about. It's like the thing from Fallout 4 where you like follow the line in the road and it like takes you on a no. tour. I mean, they do put it in the game, but it is an there actual is, like yeah, tourist there, attraction. Yeah, there is an actual freedom trail in Boston you can follow. Okay, so Fallout 4, yeah. Okay. No, I, I get it. That's cool. I imagine yeah. that's probably a lot Fallout of fun 4. to do. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Yeah. I love no. visiting the old state house over there. Yeah, I love I love pumping my own gas when you get to that one stage in the level when um you get to the real history of the country as opposed to the, just the history of the country that happened afterwards where they get to pump their own gas after a revolution. It's going right over it's I've lost you. Yep. Way, way over. It's too sophisticated for us plebs. Unfortunately. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't want to see any of this. Oh no. Ah, oh, Nick's turned into a Kekistani refugee. No, Nick has turned into Milo when his book sales slump. <laughs> oh. I got that reference. I totally understood that reference. 
So, uh, anything to promote Shield or uh, um, uh, the other word that I can't think of now uh, in terms of other than the selfless plug? Trail. Yeah, um, that's yeah. Uh, it's not really a small YouTuber, but just Vern Vernaculus needs like a million subscribers. I don't know why he's not even there. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I just love him too much. I, I love him too much. You, 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 you human sour patch kid. You mean what? <laughs> no, he's fucking... Justin is incredible. Yeah. What is it with us yeah. always making friends with really cool people named Justin? Something about that. Oh, what, is that his name? Yeah, his name is Justin. Oh, shit, I didn't know Justin that. Lowell. Yeah, I love th 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 thank you, Doc's Holiday. Fucking Doc's <laughs> fucking miraculous <laughs> now. Shut the fuck, fuck up. Fucking God cunt. damn it. <laughs> fuck you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Shit, asshole! We didn't even need the Discord server when you got the fucking Saints. <laughs> no, you no, know, he's really honestly like you know Jeff Holiday here, like here, 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 here fourth Logan and Paul foremost. Here just walked in. Here, and here fourth the and foremost. Discord server. Logan Paul most. Here we go. Uh, Jeff Holiday is not allowed to announce anybody's actual name on uh, the internet, uh, lest he be accused of doxing. And uh, you know what? <laughs> By virtue of him saying uh, Vernacus's uh, name is Justin, uh, you know what that ends up with? I'm a doxer now. You know, go fuck yourself, internet. Go fuck yourself. Uh, got anything more to promote before we tell you to fuck off and then uh, cancel the stream, huh? Uh, follow my Twitter. Well, you yeah, that's good, that's good enough. That's good enough. Hey guys, we've been your midweek saints. Uh, guess what? Uh, apparently, Vernaculus's his name is Justin. That's oh, not hey. true. That's not yeah. true. Vernaculus's yeah, yeah. Vernaculus's yeah. name is Gus. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, Vernaculus's Justin. name is Gus. And uh, at the same time, though, here Justin Gus, Wang. Gus Just, Justin Wang. His real name is uh, his real name is uh, Jeremy Chan. So uh, you go out down. Jeremy check Chan. Out, <laughs> check, yeah, check out. Check out. Check we'll out. Never Jeremy find Chan. That. That's his, uh, his his alt channel over on YouTube, Jeremy Chan on YouTube. That's uh, Justin Wang, uh, aka Justin Chan. Go check him out on YouTube. We've been your midweek saints. It's been Casual Friday on a Thursday, bitches. And guess what? I got about a little bit of wine and a bathrobe left, so y'all can fuck off till next week. We'll see you Sunday. Hope you freeze. <laughs> Bye, everybody. What the Bye. fuck just happened? What the shit? Actually, yeah, no, but 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 like seriously, guys, yeah, check us out on check us out on check us out on a Sunday. Okay, bye. By the way, uh, actually, we have a we have a streamlabs donation by Sergeant Buck. Finally got a new vid up. <laughs> Shush! I'm trying to do this quick. Finally got a new vid up. I blame you two for starting me on this. Jeff, add this to your anti kerosene shot balance. Will do. We never got there, buddy. But uh, yeah, I feel you, bro. <laughs> Wait, there was no death shot today. <laughs>
I was done. So it wasn't. No, listen, we're, was, trying to, oh, we're, wasn't. Trying to, we're trying to count. Busting in like the I, show's not over. I, you shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I, I'm busting in like the not over. And like these people can still give us money. And, and yeah, sure they can give us money and drag the show out even longer. And then, well, I mean, how much how, 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 how many times do you want to beat, beat a fucking dead horse, Jeff? I mean, it's not like these people are getting 10 or $25 for I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. End this free, Jeff, now. God. Now. Hey, hey, hey! Do you, you, you just do that? Is that what happened? <laughs> I thought maybe. You know, listen, dude, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking tally up the fucking Streamlabs chats here, and here you are, just like, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, what are you? Listen, I'm excited. I grew up in the t same town as Adam Stop fucking Salem. Like, I don't need. Hey, Mr. Are, Tickle Trunk. Are, are we, are we on? Are we on? Mr. Tickle Trunk says the lack of format what? tonight hurts what? us. That? No! Get offline now! I. What? But. Are, shoot. Punk. Get offline, Jeff! Now! Uh, fi fine. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. So wait, wait. One, one last thing. Why do, why, why do we? Why are we even? Why do we even try? I mean, like you know, I, I almost feel like I just need to like, like pull a fucking kangaroo's fucking guttered head over my face in order to make this shit work. Wait, what the fuck, Jeff? Why? Why the fuck are we? Jeff, why are we live again? Will you stop this? All I, I keep on like losing I track. Just, I was just fantasizing. <laughs> we he are we're live again. All right, you the know, bones of wild right never fucking ends, guys. Academics, please respond. Get this shit off the internet. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you Sunday. Fuck off. <laughs> oh.